We ask that you would break the power of accusation and intimidation off of singers and musicians. We ask that the songwriters would write. We ask, Lord, for the courage and the confidence to get our ears clear from the secular and the profane and begin to hear the melodies from heaven and begin to hear the songs of Zion and begin to consecrate our ears and begin to consecrate our lives and begin to consecrate our music as holy unto the Lord for such a time as this, my God, for such a time as this in this hour of history that you would consecrate a people unto you that would not bow the knee to the secular music industry, that would not bow the knee to clicks and playlists and monetize this and that, that would not bow the knee, that would march to the beat of another drum, that would hear another song and another rhythm and another melody from another age and would call it forth and bring it into the present, Lord. We ask you for the night watch. We ask that those that stand by night, that would bless the Lord from this house, that songs would begin to emerge, that you would anoint the tongue of the singers throughout the night seasons, that they would begin to sing and prophesy, that they would begin to have dreams and visions, Lord. We ask you for our children. We ask you, Lord, for nine-year-olds and 10-year-olds and 11-year-olds, that they would begin to encounter the power and the glory of God in the night, and that you would begin to give them songs and melodies, and they would sing them throughout the day. Do it, my God. Take us where we've never gone before. What we have, Lord, we're grateful for, but we know that there is so much more. We know that at the sound of a song, a young man will be delivered from the power of demons. We know that at the sound of a song, Lord, the paralyzed would be healed, that those with cancer, Lord, would be cleansed from cancer in their bodies, Lord. We know that there's a song where you rise and you're enthroned over regions and over cities, over Kansas City, over Nashville, over Charlotte, over New York, Lord, that you would arise on the praises of your people and that your power and your glory would tear open the heavens in a unique way, my God. We ask that you would do this in the name of Jesus. I wanna invite any singers or musicians to come down to the front if your heart is being stirred. You don't have to come, but if you do wanna come, I wanna just invite you to come down to the front. You don't have to be a platform singer or musician. You don't even have to be a good singer. You just know there's a sense of God has given me these things and a desire because the Lord has put something in your heart. I wanna invite you down to the front right now. Come quickly. Move all the way to the front so that others can come in behind you. There's a spirit of prophecy that comes upon the singers and musicians for such a time as this. And the enemy and the secular music industry has tried to steal away and pervert that which belongs to the Lord. And the Lord has an answer for the greatest hour of darkness and it's through the weakness of our prayers, it's through strumming guitars on our beds late at night, it's through getting together friends, teenagers, in the lobbies of our high schools and just crying out to God, Lord, here we are. Lord, here we are. We ask you, Lord, that you would release the anointing for such a time as this. Lord, for this very hour of history, we ask you, oh God, for a power that cannot be resisted by the powers of darkness. We ask you, Lord, for hearts that would stand, Lord, against the seduction of this age that comes through the music industry, Lord. We say thus far and no more. Thus far and no more. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you would recapture the ears of a generation. We ask that you would recapture, Lord, the hands of a generation. We ask you, Lord, that you would recapture the mouths of a generation that people wouldn't start in the gospel music and then go into the world, that they would come from the world and begin to fill prayer rooms and churches and ministries that are anointed for such a time as this. We ask you for a great harvest, my God, to come in the name of Jesus. We ask for the anointing of the Lord, a Davidic anointing, the, 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 the plate that would rest upon the, the priest. I see the Lord just beginning to put it on some of your foreheads. Right now, it says, holy to the Lord. Holy to the Lord. 
Just put your hand on your forehead. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus, holiness to the Lord, a generation consecrated, a generation sanctified, a generation set apart for you. Lord, that you would release the anointing that would flow through the fingers and the mouths of the singers and musicians in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you would break every lie that has been spoken over every single singer and musician and worship leader in the name of Jesus that says that you are not good enough and that your voice does not matter. This is not about platforms. This is not about conferences. This is not about albums and record labels. This is about the Son of Man arising, arising over the nations, arising as a man of war. This is about Him. This is about those that sing the song of the Lamb and follow Him wherever He goes. And whether it's one person or two or 10,000 that you're singing in front of, it doesn't matter. You sing before the audience of one. You play before the audience of one. Father, release your anointing in the name of Jesus. We ask you for the increase, the increase. And Father, we call forth the little women. We call forth, Lord, I call forth specifically women in this hour to let your voice be heard, that the anointing that rested upon Miriam would come, that the judgments of God, the understanding of the judgments of God would rest upon them and begin to manifest in song. I will sing unto the Lord. He has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider thrown into the sea. And my God, I ask you that through the little women you would cast down every stronghold that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, that you would bind every demon, that you would break every power of darkness, that mothers that would sing over their children would break the schemes of the enemy off their children at night, my God. Put your words in their mouth. such a time as this, my God. Break the power of shame. Break the power of failure. This is not about others. This is about the fear of the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. For such a time as this.
on my instrument for such a time as this. Yes, God. 